Okay, guys, this is going to be uh, section two, uh, numbers 15 through 18 in this video. Okay, number 15 says if uh, P and N are integers such that P is greater than N is greater than zero, means they're just positive numbers, you guys, and P squared minus N squared equals 12, okay, there's a factoring problem right there, I think. Which of the following can be the value of P minus N? Yeah, since that's one of the factors. All right, now, you need to recognize that this is a difference of squares, you guys. P squared minus N squared ends up being uh, P plus N times P minus N. So, uh, think of this, you guys. Uh, th this still equals 12. I'm going to fit in 12 right there. So, think of two numbers that you add together, and the same two numbers that you subtract together can get me 12. Well, let me list the factors of 12, you guys. Here's factors of 12. 12 times 1. Now, remember, they're positive, so I don't have to worry about negative times a negative. Uh, 6 times 2, and then 4 times 3. There's my only factors I can get of 12. Remember, these are the ones I'm going to add, so they're going to be the bigger ones. These are the ones I'm going to be subtracting. So, And they have to be the same numbers, P and N. So are there any two numbers that I can add together that gets 12, and then when I subtract the same two numbers, it gives me 1. I can't think of any. There aren't any. How about this? 6 and 2. Are there any two numbers that I can add together to get 6 and subtract those two numbers and get uh, 2? Yeah, I'm going to use this pair right here. Because 6 is the same as 4 plus 2, and 2 is the same as 4 minus 2, that's going to get me... Uh, that's going to get me 6 times 2, which is going to get me 12. So check this out, you guys. Here's the question. What is P minus N? P minus N is 2. P minus N is, is 2. So I know it's that one right there. So it could be that one. Okay, are there any two numbers that I can add together to get 4 and then subtract the same two numbers together to get 3? I can't think of any, you guys. It's this one only, so that would get me choice B. Okay, here is, uh, okay, this graph right here is for questions 16 through 18. Okay, have this graph. Let me move it up so I can read it a little bit more. Questions 16 through 18. Okay, the grid above represents uh, equally spaced streets in a town that has no one-way streets. Uh, F marks the corners where the firehouse is located, F marks the corner, and points W, X, Y, and Z are represents the locations of some other buildings. The fire company defines a building, a building's M distance, uh, at a minimum number of blocks that a fire truck must travel from the firehouse to reach the building. For example, uh, for example, this building X right here is, uh, from F, is 2, uh, blocks away. So it has an M distance of 2. Look, it goes 1, 2. So there's 2 blocks away it can go. It can't do any diagonal things. There's no, you know, diagonals. You just got to follow these streets right here. And uh, the building Y has a distance of a half a block. So it's right here. It's a half of a block right here. Okay, I'm going to move over to 16 and then come back to this chart right here. All right, 16 says, uh, what is the M distance of the building at W from the firehouse? Okay, so I'm going to go from W to the firehouse right here. I'm going to go, uh, let's see, that's a half, plus 1, plus 2, plus 3. Looks like 3 and a half. So 16 is choice D. Okay, nice and easy. All right, 17. Here's 17. What is the total number of different routes that a fire truck can travel uh, the end distance from F to Z. So how many different ways from F to Z? All right, let's go count them from F to Z. Okay, here's one. There's one. I'm going to put a little tally mark over here. Here's another. Over, down, over, down. There's another one. Okay, here's another one. Over, all the way down, over. There's another one. Okay. Okay, now I think I've extinguished all mine going to the right, so let's go down. Over, down. There's another one. Over, over, down, over. There's another one. Uh, let's see. Over, over, over. 
And I think I've got them all. So 17 is, I counted, 6. All right, 18, last one on this video here. This one's a hard one, I remember. Okay, all of the buildings in the town that are an M distance of 3 from the firehouse must lie on a... Okay, so 3 from the firehouse. So I gotta go back and list all the ones that are 3 from the firehouse. So, let me go 3. 1, 2, 3, there's 1. 1, 2, 3, there's another. 1, 2, 3, there's another. 1, 2, 3, there's another. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, I uh, can't go anymore over there, uh, 1, 2, 3, oh, it's looking like it might be a figure, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, it looks like it's going to be a square, you guys, so 18, 18 is, ends up being a square. Okay.